What's up guys, Joe here, welcome back to my channel and today we are back with more PCM 2021 and today we are taking a look at specifically Mountain gameplay. So we have Cortina Dampezzo, stage 16 of the Giro awaiting us and that is the full stage as well with the Fadzaya, with the Pordoi and the Paso Giao as well. This should be a great stage, we didn't get to see the full stage in real life and let's see what we can do here and see how the AI reacts as well in the new game. Quite a nice day here then, a plus one for Egan Bernal, but what I will say is, we have our Giro team here at the Ineos Grenadiers, but we also have the likes of Roglic, Pogaccia, all the best climbers in the world are here, so this should be a really fun, exciting stage in the high mountains, well over 2,000 metres altitude. So one of the first points to note from the gameplay this year, you cannot get water from the middle of the pack anymore, Ghana had to drop back right to the back of the peloton like the riders do in real life. It makes it a lot more difficult and more tactical to get water at the right time because it takes much longer to get water to your riders. And it really is an important fact because Ghana hasn't recovered that energy despite being one of the better riders for the type of terrain we've had so far today. A lot of flat and he's really struggling and not going to recover that energy now. So yeah, the water is really, really more important this year to get it right and go with the correct rider. And I've just seen an attack and yes, I was correct. Julian Alaphilippe attacking up the road with no wheels on his bike as well. So we have to remember that this is a one day race in game. So we are going to see some maybe more wild attacks like that move by Alaphilippe and Patrick Conrad. And again, it is a beta version of the game. Hence the graphical errors. This shouldn't be in the full game. We are now coming into the Paso for Dyer. Onto the steep part of the Paso for Dyer then. I'm trying to make this as difficult a race as possible as Narvaez. He is now done as well we have Sivakov almost done and Martinez is going to be our super domestique just like at the recent Giro. Crossing the Paso for Dyer then and still we have a pretty large group but we will see some splits start to form over the top but like I said lots of riders still here a lot of riders are completely done though. And so right now on the old game I may have gone to get water at this point sorry to make this a water video so far but I really can't get it in time because we'd have to drop past all of these 70 riders in the group and get back to the front ahead of the next climb. And by the way as I I say that Emmanuel Bookman on the attack for Bora Hansgrohe onto the poor Doy. Then Bookman is up the road. Molimer does decide to follow for Trek Sega Fredo. I'm gonna stay sat in for now. I may blow it up towards the second half of the poor Doy though. Okay, it has all come back together, and there goes Primoz Roglic. The guys have been so aggressive on this stage so far. I'm pretty sure Danny Martinez is going to get dropped on the poor Doy as well. What a difficult stage we've had already. Oh, and I'm really struggling to get through these guys, getting blocked like the old PCMs. Of course, Hugh Carthy, get out of the way, please. 2k to go to the top of this climb. We've seen Gordu, Caruso, Dan Martin escape, but Roglic is still up the road. We have 1k to go. Martinez is going to be done. And I'm going to launch an acceleration here with Egan Bernal. Pagacha lands on our wheel. And we have been able to drop some guys. Only Lander and Pagacha are able to follow 800 meters to the top. Let's try and join Martin Caruso and Gordu. But Roglic is going to crest the poor Zoy in the lead of the race. And so we do crest the climb, we're not quite onto their wheel just yet. Luckily, Pogaccia is going to work with us a little bit in this descent. Almeida, Barze, follow. And this race is all over the road right now. What a stage we have. And somehow, Dan Martin has 70 downhill when the guys like Pogaccia and Bernal have 74. So... If this was the World DB, we'd be able to close the gap so easily. But because Dan Martin has too high a downhill compared to real life, I feel, um, we're struggling to close that gap, really. Okay, we have now got here, and Damiano Caruso is giving his all for Mikel Landa. So, Bahrain are giving up Caruso pretty much entirely to work for Mikel Landa, and we are struggling just to stay in this group right now. Such is the tempo by Damiano Caruso, and we have opened up a massive lead to all the riders behind because of Bahrain's tempo. Look at them. I mean, Caruso is going all in right now in this flatter section. So I'm not sure this is completely realistic. I'm not sure Caruso would do this in real life. So Roglic has been caught, but they literally didn't give him any breathing room and Caruso went all in. He wasn't looking around at all. Let's try and relay a little. I don't really want all these guys, Almeida, Barze, etc. to come back on. Oh, and here we go. They've all attacked just as I was looking away as well. I'll have to grab David Godu's wheel as Damiano Caruso is done and hope we can follow Roglic, who is a Aggressive yet again 
on this stage, but sitting in the wheels, we're biding our time and we should stay in this group on this section. We are going to try and work, but what I am finding is no one in this group will be willing to work at all. It's literally attack or nothing, which again, I don't find completely realistic. If you escape with a, a small group like this, you'd probably try and work with them rather than constantly attacking as these guys seemingly want to do here. I'll have to watch the wheels and watch for attacks. Or maybe not Barze working for Jai Hindley. Martinez is in this group as well. He can maybe help us if he comes back in. He's not in just yet though. We still have eight riders at the front. And now we enter the Paso Giao and here we go. Tali Pagacha is going to go straight on the attack. I'll try and follow but now feeling pretty good today. And now we're going to have a bigger group of riders trying to follow Barze follows and he is dropped. Carthy is dropped as well. What's a move by Tade Pogaccio right now? He's dropped so many riders and Mikel Landa, he cannot follow either and neither can Egan Bernal. What's a rider Tade Pogaccio is? You don't need me to tell you that, guys. And we're in the second group with Roglic and we're going to go clear momentarily with these three guys. Godou, Landa and Martin have been caught out. So has Joao Almeida and we are clear. So Pino is going to try and bridge the gap to Godou and Landa behind. I can't really work too hard with Pogac and Roglic here. And I do think Landa, Martin and Godou may be able to get back in. 6k to go though, but it's, as we know, a very difficult climb as Igan Bernal demonstrated in real life. And here comes David Godou. He is going to bridge this gap to the front trio and he's actually going to almost do that. I think, yes, he is back in. Four riders at the front, but, but Godou should be struggling, I think, a little bit with the tempo. Don't know why he attacks as Pino was almost up to him as well. Not the best teamwork there. So Lander is completely cooked. Dan Martin and Pino are trying to catch up. Everyone else behind is nowhere near going to make it in today. We are pulling on the front we're pulling our fair share of turns 3k to go to the top maybe we can try a little dig i'm not sure so these guys are starting to look around a little bit 2k to go to the top of the Paso Giao. Do I try something here? Or do I try and play it safe with Bernal? But as we see, Pogaccio and Roglic much better on the old sprint. So we're going to try. Egan Bernal is going to kick away on the Paso Giao. 1.5k to go to the top of this climb. Godou, Pogaccio and Roglic all trying to follow. Oh boy, but they're able to follow right now. And I don't think we're going to try another attack. Oh, we will try and push it all the way to the top with Egan Bernal. And here we go. Godou and Pogaccia are gone, but Primoz Roglic is able to follow. It's going to be a two-up sprint to decide this stage. Roglic just about clinging onto our wheel over the top. So massive gap now to the guys behind Pogaccia and Godou over 30 seconds behind. And what I will say, in this database, we have a slightly better descending ability than Primoz Roglic. Let's try and capitalize on that. And you know what? We are gapping him. We are gapping him. Primoz Roglic struggling to hold the wheel of Igan Bernal in this descent. I will say, I think Roglic is quite a good descender. He has crashed a little bit in real life, which I guess is why he has this lower rating. Surely this group is splitting. Still, the game says two riders in the same group right now. I'm not sure how. No way Roglic is on the wheel anymore. And there you go. Those hairpins have given Egan Bernal a lovely advantage solo to try and go all the way to the line. 6k to go. Pogaccia and Godou almost making a comeback on Primoz Roglic then. 4k to go. This is all but over now. What a win this is going to be. So Roglic doing his best here guys but it is going to be a beautiful beautiful victory for Egan Bernal. One more corner into Cortina D'Ampezzo. We can celebrate for sure. Egan Bernal wins in Cortina D'Ampezzo. What a beautiful victory that was. Pumped with that for sure. Roglic second. Godou third and Pogaccia is fourth and massive gaps to the riders behind what a stage this was there we go then guys what a stage that was absolutely love that with Egan Bernal we beat the best riders in the world the best climbers in the world that is for sure really enjoyable race I must say we didn't have riders attacking super early apart from Primoz Roglic and he clearly was feeling very good and uh, capable of doing so so I really enjoyed the AI in this kind of one day big mountain stage race really super fun to play against I must say smash that like button if you enjoyed today though we have plenty more pieces 2021 content coming to the channel drop a sub if you're new as well and i'll see you guys in the next one